What is the best and fastest way to actually become a VR developer? Back in 2017, I got my very first VR job without a degree, without any experience. Actually, I got three out of five jobs without even applying. The companies just reached out to me and asked me if I want to work there. Everything using these strategies I want to discuss in this video. So in this video, I want to give you my three-step system so you don't waste months or years of your life doing the wrong things in the wrong order. Principle number one. When I started my journey as a Unity developer, back in 2014 I started out with making 2d games 3d games and also back then I didn't have any skills I was also not really confident I was not super good in school so I was just in the very beginning of my career and also not confident in the world at university because I was studying computer science I learned super complicated algorithms and really theoretical language models 95% of which I've never used in my life while at the same time also building my own games getting started with uh, making 2D mobile games, 3D games, horror games, whatever you name it, using Unity and Blender on the side as well. And actually learning all of my lessons on that journey through the actual and emotional mistakes that I did. Sometimes I broke the complete project and I could not revert back anymore and that was my hard learned lesson of why everybody should use version control in the projects. Building your own projects forces you to build good software because otherwise the projects get unusable after a few months and then you just hate your life. Very, very different from building the 50th bubble sort algorithm for your homework. I had built around 10 projects when I started to look into getting a job in this field while studying computer science and 90% of those were actually hackathons and uh, game jams or my side projects which helped a lot to gain a lot of experience. One actually turned out into a full game, like a full polished game which became my flagship project and this game also got published to the iOS store and the Android store. After a while I decided to also just try it out and put my game into a submission of the uh, national Microsoft Imagine Cup which is a global programming competition basically and spoiler alert you can see I won it so winner a games competition which is pretty cool it's not an overstatement if I tell you like this game this experience this project literally changed my life completely and after a short time I also dropped out of college to go to this field all in when I returned home from the competition I realized that I've learned a ton of lessons during my whole journey that I use still to this day every day I teach it to all of my students it is as important as breathing and it is learned by building projects and documented journey the formal education system has failed us all. Most still think that learning is listen to a professor for 90 minutes, uh, writing notes and then do your homework assignment and then pass an exam. Or watching tutorials after tutorials after tutorials and that is also not the right way. You learn so much better by actually just building this goddamn thing rather than just consuming content about it. I mean you're not gonna learn guitar by watching videos and only reading about it. You actually have to play it, right? My very best tip I have for you you here is to join hackathons online in person have your own side projects because these things really help you I've done dozens of hackathons I mean I've like participated and now also organize them and honestly this is the single best thing that you can do to really speed up your learning curve but also build a portfolio and just have a ton of fun at the same time I mean when I had this whole journey of like documenting my projects building games going to hackathons I was not really Really doing it for like building my career of course that was part of it but mostly was just because it's so much fun like I just enjoyed doing that building cool projects and meeting cool people all of that stuff so it's really the the best way that you can do when you build your projects don't forget to document it make screenshots videos keep early builds document your code basically have a diary for each project it will give context and structure to everything and it's a window into your brain which is exactly what people in hiring positions are looking for. Principle number two, I got my very first job as Unity developer without even applying for it. Heck, I didn't even know the position, I didn't even know the company or my future employer one day before I started there. It all started back in 2016 when I was still studying in Berlin and I decided to attend the Unity Unite in Europe, uh, Amsterdam. This also was really out of my comfort zone. I didn't have any skills, like I just built a couple of small games here and there, 
but uh, of course like everybody I had imposter syndrome like crazy I went there all by myself and I was like oh, should I really go there but I decided to still do it since that year was the year of action so I have like a theme for every year and that was the year of action and it turned out to be one of the best decisions in my life actually I think I have my book over here so let me just show you so this is my life book as you can see it kind of took some damage already holy moly so here you see like the year of action which is kind of like yeah how I built everything and it's super helpful to having the frame of mind and again like, that was my spirit of just pursuing all of these things even though they are out of my comfort zone the United itself was uh, amazing but actually what where the story gets interesting is on the way back and I swear this is not made up on my flight back the person next to me she also attended unity night I saw it because like she had the logo on her laptop and then I just started talking to her we got in contact and had a pretty good conversation after that I told her hey I'm actually looking for jobs or whatever connections in the VR industry or game dev industry and she was like yeah I'm pretty well connected in that whole field and I was like seriously and then she was like yeah sure and then I was like hey can you please give me some context and she I know it sounds so like a movie but she literally, literally took out a napkin and wrote down like some context on this thing and it just looked so cool like person and just like wrote down all of these contacts on this napkin which was golden for me so i took action on that and yeah i just contacted all of the people and that led me into getting into a game developer party which was pretty cool and there were games everywhere they even had a freaking local towerfall tournament and this is also where i met my future employer so i was uh, waiting in the beer line and just like casually talking to people and everything and i was showing them my game like super wall jump basically and i was actually showing it to everybody like every person i met even like on my first dates we just played super wall jump all the time so of course I also showed it to this person and turned out that they were looking for a Unity developer and they had this position open already they even had somebody who was supposed to get interviewed and then he saw my game on Super Wall Jump he was like dude are you looking for a job I'm like yeah sure why not and then one day later I signed the contract which is kind of cool today eight years later I can promise you I got most of my jobs um, if not all of them by showing a portfolio either it's a flagship project that you can show or a collection of projects but definitely build a portfolio build a portfolio it is your golden ticket to most if not every job it is your proof of competence it is your immediate qualifier or disqualifier if you don't have one you want to start small and build your way up. I mean, Super Wall Jump was not my very first game I built. Uh, I started also out with like jumping cubes and stuff like this, which were pretty cool. And you don't want to highlight these like earlier prototypes, basically. Also, you want to keep it relevant. So if you are in the VR space, of course, you want to have mostly VR projects and not like some random other things. So really think more of quality over quantity and then have one flagship project that you want to show the most, actually. You really want to make sure you get rid of like random tutorial projects projects like building a freaking calculator or something like this or just having like a rotating cube that's kind of like putting into your cv that you are successful in breathing most of the time so that's not really helpful right ideally if you follow principle one documenting your journey you have it much 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 easier because you can give context to your project and even better if you publish your project to the app lab for example in the vr case i don't know why but the reward for having something on the store is like one million times higher than the effort to get it there so if you have a good project already getting into the store is still annoying a little bit and still like uh, nasty complicated but the reward is like 10 times higher and that is something where we can help you out don't worry we have to we will cover tutorials we are actually also working with meta to help our students to also get into the uh, meta store which is pretty awesome so if you're interested in that also feel free to subscribe and let's move on there's so much more into building your portfolio like what exactly do we actually build and how do you write that how do you make these good videos and um, screenshots and everything what platform do you use and i can't cover everything on that on in this video but i have a free training on the ultimate xr developer roadmap where we have like tons of information like building your portfolio and everything so if you're interested feel free to check it out it's free it's linked below so let's move on now principle number three this is my ultimate cheat code this got me so much more ahead of anybody who was smarter harder working luckier than me back in 2016 i started to create my linkedin profile to connect with people over there 
there and at the same time also go to a ton of local events i mean we are talking about everything that was available in berlin vr berlin meetup ar berlin meetup unity berlin scene or unity game dev scene vr days all of these events i was on all of them and naturally i met a ton of people at some point in 2017 i also co-organized my own vr developer meetup where i told people everything on vr that i've just learned myself and of course that also got me connected to high level people as well this is also where i met a couple of influential people who had the hololens back then already when it was not even available in all europe not even microsoft had the hololens in europe at least and they had it and they gave me the hololens under a condition and i was like okay what's the condition and then he told me okay you you get the device but then you have to make content you have to make like tutorials and teach people how to do it on our conference and our developer meetup and i was like okay that sounds good let's do it and then i was like how much time do i have and he's like one or two days i'm like all right challenge accepted so i had like one or two days to just learn everything about this device which is super ridiculous complicated back then at least so many unnecessary build processes and everything like no documentation i mean let me know if you remember the good old holo toolkit days it was crazy and i had to present all of that to an audience of developers so i was working until like 5 a.m in the morning just like trying to get a freaking build done and build up a tutorial and everything and then present it to an audience and again that was really comfort zone stretching but again it was like the phase of my life where I just like went all in on it just took all of these opportunities i just worked like crazy to deliver then and fortunately everything worked out well even though i had some sleepless nights and that just gave me so many more opportunities in this field like crazy and that is how back then people just reached out to me and i just had to pick which opportunity i wanted to take really even today this is still my most powerful most op strategy that i use all the time my youtube channel and my student successes that is my portfolio my linkedin is my network and all of that together is my personal brand build a personal brand companies hire based on your online presence social media is the new resume create and maintain your linkedin account start connecting commenting and posting and grow your network and your opportunities honestly it's almost ridiculous how freaking powerful this is if and only if you are consistent at it good shit takes time and building a personal brand is really good shit similar to portfolio building it is quite complicated there are like many things you want to make sure like how do you actually comment or what do you post and how do you don't get into problems and stuff like this and also here i cover all of that in my free training uh, the xr roadmap course it's linked below again and that should help you out in that field but remember the best time for building a personal brand was 10 years ago the second best time is now one very important thing we didn't cover in this video is what kind of projects do you actually want to build like what is a good use case for vr what is something that is um, not wasting months and years of your life if you actually build it i see it often when i go to conferences and um, fairs and people send me their things and sometimes these apps are just kind of useless and pointless and it's just hurts my heart to see that so you really want to make sure that you are building something that kind of makes sense at least and if you want to know like what are some good things or what value can vr bring then you definitely want to check out this video over here because there i go into full depth of what kind of projects are useful what can you build and how not to waste years and months of your life so check out this video and thanks for listening i will see you in the next one